In this video, I want to get into an introduction of container fields. Now, in other videos, we've talked about text fields and number fields and date fields and time fields and calculation fields, etc. But this video is about container fields. Well, what is a container field? A container field is a kind of field that can store any kind of document. It can store a Word file. It can store a PDF. It can store an Excel file, a movie file, an audio file, a photograph, even a digital signature. That's what container fields can store. Now, when I talk about container fields and they're used for storing documents, really in modern terminology, people refer to that as digital document storage. The idea that you have a FileMaker custom application, and as part of that application, you're storing scanned contracts and photos and critical signatures, things like that. That capability is a critical part of a modern application. Back 20, 25 years ago, really very few people scanned documents, and even when they scanned them, they probably just stuck them on a computer hard drive somewhere. Well, by using a container field in a custom application, like a CRM, you can have a customer with a project file, for example, and then in that project, you would have the signed contracts. So they're always there available quickly to reference. Now, of course, in my office, I still keep the paper copies of contracts if we have them. We also back them up to a second location. So we have multiple backups in case something happens. That being said, the first place I go to for a contract is in my CRM. Now, I'm sure we all agree that container fields sound like a lot of fun and they are awesome. And I truly use them every day. However, the default behavior of a container field is to save the data internal to a FileMaker file. So if you're using a CRM like FM Starting Point or maybe one of the starter solutions that FileMaker has when you install the product, the containers are saved internally, which means that as you add contracts and add images, well, those things are generally pretty big, especially if you get into photographs and video, that's really huge. And if those container fields are saved inside the FileMaker file, that means all those documents that you're attaching are then saved inside the FileMaker file. Now that might sound really great, but the natural consequence of that is that your FileMaker file is going to get very, very large. In fact, it will get so large that'll have a negative impact on the performance as you host the file on your FileMaker server or FileMaker Cloud. In an ideal world, you want your custom app, which is in this file with the .fmp extension, you want that file to be as small and as nimble as possible. That makes the access as quick as possible. That makes the backups as quick as possible. So how do we solve this problem? Well, it's a great feature that FileMaker added a number of years ago, and basically it allows the containers to be stored externally to the file. Now, the engineering folks at FileMaker have long called this remote containers. In fact, we still call it that frequently here, but the official terminology established by the folks at FileMaker is a container field with external storage. So I'm in one of the free starter solutions that FileMaker has, and I wanna go into Manage Database. So I'm gonna go up under File, down to Manage, over to Database, and then I'm gonna make sure I'm in the Contacts table and I'm gonna find the container field right here, which normally contains the images of the people in our contact file. Now, if I click on that field and then select options, that brings up my options window, and then I can press the storage tab at the top. Now, this exposes the critical controls for establishing whether the containers are stored in the file or outside the file. And so really you have three choices here. You have the default behavior, which is storing it inside the file. And then, of course, you have external storage, which is either open storage or secure storage, which means it's encrypted and protected. Now, I highly recommend that you use the secure storage, not so much because you're trying to protect the documents from hackers, but there are some other performance related issues that come into play that will benefit from the encrypted or secure storage. Now, once I've done this and I press OK, FileMaker Pro Advance is going to want to confirm that I am moving the container from internal to external storage, and it's going to do this right now on my local computer. If you have a FileMaker file that's hosted on the server or the cloud, it will work identically. It's the same. And what ends up happening is that 
a brand new folder right next to the database will be created. And then the container items will be moved into that folder. So going forward, our FileMaker custom application solution is really the FileMaker file right here and the folder containing our external container objects right next to it. So these two things have to go together. In fact, it's critical that they stay together all the time. So what does this mean in terms of performance? Well, our FileMaker file, our FMP12 file, no longer has to hold all those documents. So all those large files, all the images, scans of contracts, even if you have movies, those are all dumped in that directory next to FileMaker, which our FileMaker server handles very well. And then in our FileMaker file here, that's kept small. We just keep our text data in there, our number data in there, and that ensures that the overall performance of our FileMaker custom application is as high as possible. So in the case of this demo, I have a single file here, and I have this directory of containers here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and take a look at what's inside. And of course, in this case, we selected secure storage, and all these containers have been encrypted and literally diced up into little bits and spread over a number of subdirectories in this directory of containers. Now the good news is that FileMaker keeps track of this for us automatically and it's very, very reliable. Also keep in mind that this is gonna be really difficult to hack and break into without the assistance of a federal government or someone with a lot of supercomputers and a lot of talent. So saving your containers externally is a huge performance boost for the FileMaker platform. Now FileMaker also introduced a number of years back a second performance boosting capability, which is the idea of thumbnailing. Now everyone who uses Amazon to shop or Facebook to look at photos understands the concept of thumbnailing. When you're looking at a website or an application, frequently you will have high resolution photos or even little images. And in reality, you're not seeing the full image, you're seeing a small thumbnail. It's a small representation of the file that's linked to it. So the idea that you have a five megabyte photo from a really great camera phone is saved in the system somewhere. Well, to display that on screen, you really don't wanna have the users downloading five megabytes of data to see a little thumbnail. So FileMaker has the ability to automatically create thumbnails. These thumbnails are dynamically generated and displayed on the user's layout. So instead of having a screen with five megabyte, four megabyte, eight megabyte images. And if you have a whole gallery of images, that could be a whole lot of downloading you have to do just to see the layout. Instead, FileMaker is gonna give you an array of very small, lightweight thumbnails that will download very rapidly. 20K, 30K, 40K maybe. And those little thumbnails will download very quickly. Of course, if you right click the container, you can tell it to export the image and when you do that, then of course, you're gonna get the full image down out of your FileMaker custom application so it can be saved on your local computer. And of course, this is really useful if you want to bring up a full-size image so you can see the details of that image. So the thumbnailing is a super awesome capability that was added a number of years ago to the FileMaker platform. Along with the external storage of the containers, it makes the FileMaker platform a great place for digital document storage.